So nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Sergey Pavlov. I'm head of um, capital markets division at Exact Pro. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to talk about software testing for financial market infrastructures. And so it's a big topic. So I'd like to focus on team composition and competences. So I'd like to, I mean, uh, other, other points are also be, be briefly covered. Uh, so this is a plan. So uh, very briefly, I'll talk about Exact Pro. Uh, so then, um, what is a modern stock exchange? Uh, then three pillars which are required to test software. Uh, principle of complexity uh, uh, correspondence between the system under test and test library. Uh, then and then we move to the, to the main part of the, the testing dream team. I should, what what it should be, and uh, we'll review overview uh, uh, different roles uh, which are required in uh, to test such complex systems and the necessary skills and and possible career tree. And then at the end, there will be some bonus. Okay, let's start. So about Exec Pro, um, Exec Pro uh, is an independent software testing provider for mission critical technologies and that underpins financial markets around the globe. Um, like we uh, will found it in the International Testers Day. Uh, so yesterday was our birthday. It was 13th, uh, 13th anniversary. Um, we headquartered in the United Kingdom uh, and have offices in the UK, US, uh, Georgia, Sri Lanka, Lithuania, and Armenia and Canada. And the majority, now the majority of our employees uh, stay here in Georgia, 60%, roughly 60% of our uh, employees are, are in Georgia. And we're very, very lucky with that. Uh, and so, yeah, okay, it's very, very briefly. So, uh, and we test, yeah, market infrastructures or very roughly it's stock exchange and surrounding system. So what is stock exchange? Okay, yeah, I already, yeah. And so our clients are top 10 of the top 20 global stock exchange groups. We have clients around the world on all continents in more than 20 countries. So what it is? So how you, how you might imagine it, right? From the Hollywood movies, uh, like it's crowded place when everyone yelling and so on. Uh, while in fact, it's more like this. It's a data center, basically, uh, and with, where software is on this uh, is running on these these servers. Uh, so the the ninety nine percent of the whole trading is done, even more maybe, uh, is done in an electronic way. So stock exchange is basically modern stock exchange is software, complex software system or set of infrastructure. Uh, ecosystem of software systems uh, and and the clients of an exchange are, are also using software so uh, several facts about like stock exchange like from from what are the requirements technical characteristics so daily capacity more than 100 million million transactions uh, peak rates are more than 40 thousand transactions per second. Uh, average round trip latency should be like within 100 microseconds. And they ideally should be 100% availability. So it's highly distributed, highly loaded. Uh, uh, the system, which should uh, very, be very performant, at the, at the same time, reliable. Uh, and so this is just a few examples, right? So. Uh, 3,000 transactions happen at the time of blink, in the, uh, blink of an eye or, or like with like latency between the, the order sent and then the response to an order which stock exchange should provide. Uh, we, so like 100 microseconds is the time when the plane uh, like moves at two and a half centimeters and uh, the the uh, fastest man in the world to send boat at this within this time 
uh, goes like in less than one millimeter. So it's really um, a not typical system, right? And uh, and uh, since like it involves like uh, it deals with the money transactions, right? So at, of course the the cost of the bug is very uh, like, is very high. And therefore, such um, some testing uh, approaches, which we'll uh, discuss also today, for example, crowdsource testing, are impossible uh, to imagine for stock exchange. So because like members of stock exchange, like they they uh, deal with money, and so it will take uh, it will be too cost for them. So how how do we deal with that? Right? What is our approach? Um, <clears throat> Oh yeah, and uh, this is a, like an example of market infrastructure components. So they could be like, this is an exchange itself, which consists of uh, a lot of components, gateways, the, the en machine engine, and distribution server uh, system, which uh, disseminates market data, and then to other systems as well. Uh, so it's not just one system, other systems, like such as surveillance system, clearing gateway, and, and so on. So highly distributed so exchange itself is a distributed system, and but also other systems are surrounded, and so we need to test all the things as a whole. Uh, so uh, throughout our work, we realize that like there are three pillars which are required uh, to test such complex systems: processes, platforms, and people. Are required to do that, and um, uh, we had other presentations regarding processes and platforms. Uh, like you can visit, uh, find them in our YouTube channel. And uh, so today, like uh, I will touch them briefly and and more talk about more focus on people. Um, so as for processes, um, we identified the, the principle of complexity. Uh, correspondence of complexity between the system under test and the test library. The more system under test uh, complex, more sophisticated test library should be. For instance, if we want to uh, explore uh, such complex things as a climate, of course we can use some simple instruments like this, but it will give us limited information about about that system. So, and therefore, uh, like we, people launch satellites into the space to analyze climate. Uh, so similarly for other complex system, right? So there is a correspondence of complexity between the system under test and, uh, and this testing library. So this is an, uh, like high level diagram uh, which represents on the right side the system under test, so a lot of components linked to each other. Uh, and on the left side, there is a system test framework, which also consists of some like boxes which, which uh, interact with which each of which check uh, test uh, corresponding uh, corresponding output of the gate uh, of the system. So they look alike, right? Uh, and correspondingly, uh, for uh, the development, uh, the typical development team uh, for, for, actually, I guess for, for any pro products, but of course for complex products as well, consists of uh, people uh, with different roles, such as analyst, developer, uh, uh, QA guy, project manager, product manager, and, and a lot of others. So, and similarly, uh, testing team, uh, since testing is a parallel process to large scale development, uh, uh, we need to have the team of people with, uh, with, with different roles. So, and this is depicted. And so we go through each of them. They, and they should all work in, so from one, so what I'm saying that, uh, 
that it's not just, you know, testing team not just consists of just testers. Okay, they are, oh, testers, of course, but uh, like since we, uh, we built complex test library to test uh, complex system, uh, we require different, different roles. Uh, so some some people should be analysts. Some should be people should be more like developers, and DevOps, and of course team lead and project manager, project product manager. Uh, so what is our goal after all, and uh, therefore what is needed from everyone in the team? So first let's let's start from the ground and what is needed from any tester, right? So uh, testing uh, is an information service. So it's, it's a process of exploring software. So, and we need to provide as much useful information as possible to clients. And the most useful information is uh, critical and high box we identified, which represents the difference between the expectations and the actual system behavior. So, and uh, these are skills and knowledge which are required uh, for everyone. Ability to learn, general IT knowledge, such as software development methodologies, operating system, databases, and so on. Uh, of course, testing, you need to know testing. And uh, for example, like uh, you can uh, go through ISTQB certification course and get ISTQB uh, certificate. Um, common IT tools, Jira, Confluence, uh, Git, uh, Microsoft Excel, and so on. Uh, you need to know, of course, system system under test, or at least systems of that type. And uh, you need to know how to use automation tools if uh, like your testing is required automation. And now like basically any testing uh, requires automation. So um, let's let's uh, look at the typical typical roles uh, and complex software systems. So first first one is subject matter expert or in other words analyst. So which skills are required uh, like for this role uh, and knowledge? So first of all, excellent understanding of testing techniques and methodologies, in-depth understanding of the system under test, including its interaction with the surrounding system, good understanding of domain knowledge and flexibility, especially in an agile environment, when to so be ready that uh, requirements could be changed and therefore your test design and then the test approach should be adopted accordingly. So, and what are the responsibilities? So analysis of requirements for a given functionality. And to do that, you need to, of course, to, to have a, this domain knowledge. Otherwise you are not able to understand the requirements. Selection of an approach, of test approach and test design, which are best fit to test the functionality. Um, uh, analyst needs uh, to work close, in close cooperation with automation teams and uh, to define the best way to apply this test approach and this test design. Uh, and uh, again, uh, uh, adjusting, be, uh, being able to adjust in approach and design uh, as uh, as uh, bugs in the system under test are discovered, or as requirements are changed, and so on. Then another role is automation developer, or in other words, software developer in test. Um, so, uh, which which skills and knowledge are required in addition to that generic? Uh, general knowledge. So understanding of programming principles, knowledge of programming language, uh, Python or Java or any other like, uh, common uh, programming language, ability to understand test design because automation engineer will uh, build a test tool or test script uh, like uh, to, to uh, apply that test design uh, created by an analyst. Knowledge of key functionalities uh, of, of the system under test and in-depth understanding of some parts of functionality. So unlike analyst, it's like, uh, we don't require like to know the whole functionality, but at least 
some of them. Uh, and that's understanding of how to use existing test tools and ability and desire to improve them and the general passion to automate. Uh, and which are, what are responsibilities? Creation, maintenance, and analysis of results of automated test scripts, development of automated test framework, and new ideas of how things can be further automated. Uh, DevOps or test ops uh, requires in-depth understanding of how the system on the test operates, uh, how uh, test, test tools operate, how to deploy them, how to connect them to the system on the test. Uh, require, uh, here she needs basic system, uh, system administrator knowledge, like as a database, again, Linux, uh, network, and, and so on. Uh, knowledge of scripting languages, uh, again, Python is a good choice. Uh, and knowledge of DevOps tools, such as Jenkins, Ansible, uh, et cetera. So, and uh, responsibilities, uh, basically, we can describe in one like sentence is to keep the ball rolling. So we have automated framework and it needs to work. It needs to produce, uh, it needs to be, uh, to have test executed and to box discover it. So in other words, maintenance of, uh, so when therefore uh, everything which prevents uh, develop, uh, from, from this happening, DevOps needs to fix. So maintenance of QA environments, maintenance of test framework, implementation and maintenance of uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment pipelines. Uh, team lead, of course, uh, like it's not possible to test complex system with a very few uh, number of people. Therefore, like, typically team, team size is like, uh, should correspond to the development team size. And uh, like by necessity, needed uh, team lead is required uh, so and basic knowledge uh, and skills are the same for any team lead right so understanding of what and how each team member works ability to pick up any of them to a degree great interpersonal skills such as ability to communicate clearly ability to solve conflicts to motivate people uh, to create a team spirit and so on and the general desire to work with people. Uh, in addition to uh, like to test, uh, right? This person uh, needs to deal with people, so of course uh, uh, this desire is required. Responsibilities are a bridge. Uh, so uh, team lead is a bridge between manager and the team, and defender of the team, and go-to person for 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 team members. So such as manager always push, like let's test quicker faster, right, and, and so on, work 20, 12 hours a day or something, like, and team lead says, no, no, let's, like, uh, push back, like, people, uh, the team is tired or something, like, or, or vice versa, anything, or, like, we have some problems with automation, with tools, or with, with anything. Um, and planning, prioritizing, and control of team activities, making sure that team members work together and behave as a team, which is very important. And in general, development of the team is also a responsibility of a team lead. So each each person develop as per like uh, improves his or her skills and knowledge. Uh, so project manager, I can say that okay in QA we need QA manager, right? Again, um, uh, this and and the, even in our company there are a lot of people who understand. Okay, I'm just manager. And actually we have different, but management is, is a, managers have uh, different responsibilities. And so I will talk about then later about product manager and the difference between them very shortly. But so project manager, uh, because so we need, we, we have some deadlines. Like I, I'll start from responsibilities and therefore like what, what needs to be done, right? Creating long and short term plans, like this functionality, like we have a deadline, we have a new uh, new release. We need to test it in two weeks, right? Uh, so let's 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 start with this functionality, continue with that, then bug retest and regression testing and so on. Uh, uh, 
But project manager serves as a point of contact for team leads uh, when multiple teams are assigned to the same project, ensuring effective cross-team collaboration. So for complex systems, again, there could be multiple systems which work together and there could be multiple teams uh, working on the same program. And there could be multiple releases and the project manager needs to coordinate. Okay, let's, let's do integration testing. For example, we need to perform integration testing between two, two different systems, right? And so uh, uh, joint work of two teams are required and project managers serves as a, as a, as a point, uh, contact point for here. Managing the risks which can affect projects, such as, uh, again, uh, problems with test tools or with environments or any uh, absences of the key team members and so on and so forth. Uh, and and uh, project managers should react accordingly, right? Do some decisions. Okay, it was our plan, but now we need to change it. Right? We need to uh, move some pieces out of scope, for example, right? Uh, or we identified a critical issue. So we need to move more people there to investigate that particular functionality uh, more. And so adjusting schedules and targets on the project as needs and uh, being a, uh, also a, a, um, uh, a, a point of contact for, for our clients. So, but it's not enough for manager because there are other responsibilities which are more, uh, which connect more to, to product management role. So we say that like the, for the complex systems and for the long projects, uh, we need to create this library to, to do the end regression tests, right? And this test library, uh, it's also becomes a product and therefore it needs to be developed. So uh, product manager role is required. So, and what it implies that which responsibilities? Setting a vision how, of how the product, so for example, test library, it could be test framework, it could be two different actual product managers should evolve. For example, which areas of testing require more coverage, which require more automation, maybe which uh, vice versa can be discoped because this functionality is no longer used in, uh, in the system under test and so on. So then we need to sell this vision to clients to explain that why we need to have this test library, why we need to have more coverage, uh, or why we need to have more, why need, we need to inv uh, invest in automation or why we cannot invest in automation because it's useless, because this, the, the, this functionality uh, changed too frequently uh, and, and so on. Uh, then product manager needs uh, to communicate this vision internally to the team and, and senior management. Uh, and then uh, uh, she needs to keep focus to make sure that the product corresponds to the vision uh, while it's under development. It's really easy, and I saw a lot of such examples when like throughout the project, like this vision is lost. Okay, oh, I found that bug, or uh, let's, let's uh, investigate more. Uh, and so it turns up that some, uh, some functionalities are not tested at all, and therefore bugs uh, are being discovered at the late stage of the project or even after uh, product, <clears throat> after uh, go live of the, of the product. So we need to, like, pro it's, it's, it's quite hard to keep focus. And of course, uh, again, since there are a lot of teams and coordination with project manager and other product managers are required. So we have a different test libraries. Uh, can we use them together? Uh, how to perform integration tests between different systems and so on and so forth. So, which skills are required? Leadership skills, of course, deep understanding of the both testing and domain knowledge, excellent communication skills, uh, ability to maintain a keen attention to detail, multitask, and work well under pressure. So uh, this is an example of skills three, right? If <clears throat> when it's so it's a tester, right? So as we discussed, it requires general key knowledge, such as 
ISTQB certification, bunch of Jira, Confluence, Git, SQL, Linux, etc. What we discussed, and then so uh, there are multiple ways. So ideally, of course, all these people. I mean, I, I said that like there are different roles. It doesn't mean that one person cannot serve different roles, but it's quite hard because it, it requires, uh, as I outlined, different knowledge and different skills and different mindset. So and uh, and. Uh, testing team which requires uh, which tests complex systems, different roles are required. And so there is a uh, really different uh, possibilities for everyone. So if you uh, but so being still a tester, being still in testing team, like having a testing mindset, but then at the same time you can develop in kind of develop uh, in development line, right? So scripting, for example, Python, learn theory of algorithms, learn software architecture, or after scripting, go to DevOps. Uh, or if you more like to be more, uh, if you feel that you more have an analytical mind, you don't want to go too deep in, in development, you can uh, get a domain knowledge, system analysis, so and become an analyst. Uh, or you can move to a management uh, line, right? So learn time management, communication, team management. Uh, and so it results in a career tree like this. So we have a tester and again, different roles like developer, software developer in test, then could be become an architect, could become a, uh, or DevOps, which can become an infra manager, or you can become an analyst, or you can become a team lead. And uh, then you can become a product manager or project manager. Uh, so depending on, on the skills which you get and, and your desire, et cetera. So uh, to sum up, um, uh, to sum up, uh, still being like by necessity, it's, uh, it's not enough just to, just to be a tester. It's for to test complex systems. Uh, you need to, uh, and you have an ability to uh, uh, to improve your skills and knowledge and still be in a tester, but learn other things and be in more than just a tester, right? And there are multiple ways of, uh, for your career development. Uh, okay, product manager and project manager, I will, again, uh, not, not uh, I guess we don't have a lot of time, so I just skip this slide, but you can, uh, for those of you who don't know, who still don't understand the difference, actually you can just Google it. And so, <laughs> or for example, like this link, uh, like you can follow, it's quite uh, uh, well, well described. What is the difference between these two roles? So bonus, um, uh, that uh, as being a tester requires the general, general testing skills, and as I said, as the QB certification layer, uh, foundation layer, uh, level, quite uh, good fits to that. Uh, I'm glad to announce that our company uh, got the first in Georgia accreditation to, to our course. So we prepared the course, which first in Georgia uh, got uh, ISTQB accreditation. So uh, please, uh, uh, please uh, assign to it. Uh, go to uh, use scan QR code, and so I guess uh, it's so clear for you what what you will get from this. So great opportunity for all for all of you who uh, wants to be a tester uh, or who already a tester but still uh, didn't get uh, ISTQB certifi uh, certification and. That's it. Thank you very much.